Hello and welcome. Today I have a 20 data analysis and NLP project with the source code available in this repo. I'm going to walk you through each project, what you do, and what you're going to do inside it, and also talk about what you're going to learn in this project. But before we start, I just want to thank you for the 200 subscriber and the all awesome comment that I'm getting lately about support and thank you for sticking to this channel uh, lately i started to think i should explore more about machine learning because it's a vast field that we can look at a lot of things inside okay without further ado let's just start the first project that we have is a woman e-commerce sentiment analysis for the review this project is a very basic and every NLB data analysis engineer trying to do it at first. It helps com companies to monitor product review and understand what the customer sentiment analysis is positive or negative. So it's used this feedback to adjust, to see if it's how it can be improved. Second project, we have here a little bit advanced that will use a simple stuff like NLTK to create a chatbot. In this project, we're going to create a chatbot. This chatbot will be a simple, but it will talk about as part of on uh, of, of uh, NLB that it's never talked about before is natural language understanding and natural language generation, which if you are keeping up with the AI, it's technically what is used in almost in every large language model like ChatGPT or Llama 2 from Meta. But this one is very simple. A chatbot using LT we process the data through tokenization and basically breaking text into synthesis and words and steaming elementization. And this helps us to understand the sentence and do effective communication. Third, the project. This topic modeling project, it seems a little bit first a big, but it's not. This project actually about uh, using NLB to label document with relevant topics. Label the customer review and enable companies to understand and improve that certain uh, product or topic they are talking about. They're using Pandas, in, uh, in Numbai, NLTK, Sklearn, MATLAB Lab, and Cporn and Plotly. A lot of stuff that you're going to learn inside this project. Start to be processing the reviews and text tokenization, steaming, and also being trained on unsupervised model using keyming clustering. And it's gonna be a very nice project to learn a lot of uh, a lot about. Number four, we have here in a project talking about text summarization, but using Spacey. The stick summarization box using Spacey is very nice to have an alternative for NLTK. It take a text like an article and it turn it in a short news article, for example. And you already seeing this stuff like at a short summarization. For this project, we're using coin similarity to rank this uh, sentence based on relevancy. So it helps you understand more about the NLB summarization part and using different things like instead of NLTK, we're using Spacey in this case. Already in the fifth project, BAM classification using NLB. If you are taking NLB seriously, you have to at least create one spam classification project. It's usually for emails. It detected if it's spam or not. It's used in every single email service provider like Gmail or in, if you are old like Hotmail or Outlook for Microsoft. This technique involves analyzing text of the message extract the future and help identify whether the message is a spam or not or it might be you can use it also for a scam or not. And using this, the capital letter and the extract the future and use the trend and a machine learning model that can classify new messages as a spam or it's not sex project. Tickistic classification on Amazon find food reviews. Tickistic classification or your takeaway from this project will be data visualization and data processing. And also you will learn about stop boards, tokenization, steaming in a more deeper way. And what is Ingram model TFIDF. And you will also get the explore the implementation of logistic regression and model on the textual data. I mean like data that is mostly text. Here we start to get a little more, I will say, deeper. Market basket analysis. Market basket analysis will help us to uncover the customer pattern. Basically what he's buying, if he's buying bread, he will buy butter or cheese with it. And what is the association of transaction data? It's a valuable tool actually for understanding what customer buy as uh, together. And uh, we can use a data set available from Kegel. It's from a, bro uh, from a bread basket bakery. Okay. 
It was it's a little bit old from 26-27. The dessert include information on items such as coffee, bread, muffin, cookies. This stuff is kinda also really cool. But this market basket analysis is actually used in a lot of big tech companies like Amazon, eBay, and all the stuff is actually used there. Okay. A auto tagging question system. This auto tagging project system is focused on automatically generate tags for text. So you just ask a question and you give it a text and it will generate tags like stack overflow. And with this hundred of thousand questions that have a stack overflow, it challenges the expert to read the answer in each one. So creating tags like if you're talking about JavaScript issue, you will tag the JavaScript. If you're talking about React, it will automatically extract it. If it's style, if it's logic, and the tag will solve will solve this by providing a quick idea what question is about. So people that understand this area will talk about it and answer this question. It's a multi-label classification problem. Nine, we will create a custom resume parsing. This resume parsing is a very cool idea. It will categorize the candidate and will technically create a assistant for HR that will save time and read resume and extract the key info. And it's already having created in other platforms. This neat organization and automation will boost, of course, productivity for HR and ensure that it's been gonna be a constant approach for resume review, allowing HR are to focus on the more important stuff of the reviews part. Already at number 10, have way there. Disease prediction from symptoms. The disease prediction actually is kind of half fault in computer vision and half fault in NLB. Talking about it, like this project will be using machine learning algorithm to predict the disease based on symptoms. We're using naive based decision tree, random forest and gradient descent to understand what is the, uh, how the ill patient feel and what might be he have. It's not perfect. I mean, like we're not gonna use it uh, in the real world, but it's also teach a lot of uh, predicting what kind of result from the symptoms. Number 11, image caption generator. One of the coolest project I think you will find here is one of the first one that we're gonna talk about in terms of how cool it is. The whole idea of this project is with two people that have a weak eyesight can use kind of stuff like this. Hopefully in the future, there is gonna be AR that will provide people an easy access to this kind of algorithms. It will involve design system to provide image description. So if you have a weak eyesight and you have an AR glasses that was ex equipped with tiny camera that will take a look at what are surrounding you, for example, a, a product, and it will describe it to you. This uh, project, I, I honestly, I love it. I think I'm going to create it here in my channel. This is going to be a solution for this individual with a weak eyesight. It aims to create a system that offers spoken or written description. I mean, written is not what we seek here, but like we can use written. And it also can use in, in terms of we can also use it in other use cases like adver advertising doctor can use it in, in term of understanding is it a tumor or what exactly that have from x-ray the data set is a flicker it's a 8k data set it's have 1500 image it's like one gig and a half, I think, almost one gig and a half. It have description by five distinct people. So there is gonna be different description for five different description for each image. All right. Also, this one is very cool, but it's a little bit harder. Speech emotion analyzer. This idea is taking someone who speak and took his speech, turn it to text and analyze the emotion that he going through when he speak. It will be able to recognize emotion uh, from conversation. It's built about personalization experience for recommending things based on your mood. Like if you are angry, give you something calm, maybe music or take a walk, play sport, go to gym. It could help you also the marketing company suggest a product that match your emotion or enable autonomous cars to adjust their speed for safety. There is a lot of uses in this cool project that can expand on. And analyzing emotion is actually very cool. I mean, ChatGPT and the large language model is not there yet because the speech part is not integrated uh, inside it directly yet. Next project, better phrase identification. We're gonna build a, a system that identifies whether two sentences are is a two sentence has a, a, a two entities or sentence have the same meaning even if the word order is different or at using different words and it's there is a different inside level inside it like servers 
phrases, structured phrases, pattern level, and you can take a look at it. It's a very cool project. Turn it back down. There is having a heap space detection. I think it's very easy. Like this already used in a big tech company like Meta, Amazon, and you can see it almost in any platform that auto flag that there is a hate speech or racist speech. This is how you build it using this kind of model. Number 15, I already built this project in my channel. I'm gonna leave you a, a, a video link for it. It's a Google Play Store app and take a look at the Google Play apps, how it's affected by the size, the price, the category. And it was very cool actually project that I have built in this channel. I went to out of stuff inside it. It's very nice to have if you are building an app and want to understand how the different category affect the, uh, the success of the product or this app. 16, the NYC Airbnb exploring. This project was a little bit heavy, but it talked about a lot of cool stuff in Brenda, like merging data together and getting different data to work with together and comparing data uh, from the Airbnb uh, environments to the private uh, apartments, how it's work and impact the different district in terms of price, different rooms. It was very cool product uh, project that I work on, also available on my channel. You can check out, uh, take a look at the NLB project that will leave it for you. War the frequency in the classic novel. This one also is built <coughs> what the frequency in a classic novel i built this one also it was very easy but it teach you a lot in a very short time like downloading an html extract the html and then take the words from it clean it using stop words and it was very straightforward we extracted the words did the most common words inside it we used moby deck uh, book for this uh, project now let's turn it back up. The last three project is actually very cool. We have a project here talk about find the movie similarity or get a movie similarity based on a plot summary of this movie. This already used in Netflix and it uses something like key means and convert words to, to vectors and using clustering and you can listen to the distant and visuals. Uh, the result using Matplotlib. It's a very cool project. You can actually build an app around it if you want. Number 19, real-time insight from social media. This one is using Twitter. We'll building a statistical project using Twitter, a hot trend. You will understand the local and the global pattern in this project and the common trends and perform frequency and language analysis in this project. Last one, this one a bit different and very cool actually. It's a classified song genre from an edu data. This one will be apply an algorithm that will classify songs into genre. And we're gonna prepare data as a data set, splitting them into train and test, normalize the data, apply BCA on scale data, train decision tree and logistic regression to compare the performance, balance data to have a better performance, understanding the model bias, applying a validation and evaluation for our model. This one of the coolest project here, actually have a lot around it. You can use it uh, to get a certain song in different genre. That's it. We have talked about the 20 data analysis and NLB project. I hope that you use this reboot and you learn from it. And if you want me to do a certain project here from this list or, or any other idea that you have, and I can do it for that. I have already two requests, one of the computer, more of a computer uh, vision project. I'm already working on one and I'm gonna work on another one. The last one was doing very well that I talked about supervision from Roboflow. It was very good video that even the company itself commented on this project. So if you have any request, please leave it in the comment and tell me what you want to learn about or to see more in this channel. Uh, I have already another request that is coming in a way I'm working on it. So if you enjoy this kind of content, please tell me. If you don't, just also tell me. If you have any requests, tell me in a comment. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.